This is Red Dead Redemption, a video game which is more than just Grand Theft Auto in the Wild West. When I played this, I got the feeling that I was immersed in a game that was something special. And it goes beyond the attention to detail and the technical mastery. It's got something to do with the source material, because there's over a century of awesome westerns to pull inspiration from, and this game has done that. It's nice to see westerns, one of my favorite film genres, get the treatment that they deserve. And if the strength of the newer Grand Theft Auto games is the ability to ignore the story completely and bring a city to its knees with sheer unimaginable mass chaos, carnage, and destruction, the strength of Red Dead Redemption is a better plot with a more interesting cast of characters. Come on in! Come on in! Welcome to my humble abode! Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. You play as former outlaw John Marston, who's hunting down a gang of criminals he once called friends. And as the player, you immediately empathize with him. He seems inspired by Clint Eastwood's character in The Unforgiven and numerous other westerns, but that's this game's whole strength. It's like the video game equivalent of Westworld. You're living in the Wild West. You play poker, ride horses, get in gunfights, but unlike Westworld, they're not androids. The game's hook is that the West is dying, and you are certainly doing your part to make sure it dies. At its core, Red Dead Redemption is more about storyline and atmosphere than non-stop action. The environment is less crowded than Grand Theft Auto, and that doesn't mean there's necessarily less to do, it just means there's less incentive to roll buses and tanks down crowded city streets and run into nightclubs with flamethrowers, and basically all the things that distract me from the plot. In Red Dead Redemption, there's less distractions. So you can focus on the plot, but you would be missing half the game if you didn't play like a crazy maniac outlaw, at least some of the time. Everything about Red Dead Redemption is well made. The controls are good, the music is excellent, the voice acting is very impressive. Eventually games will come out that blow this away graphically, technically. But so many who play this game will remember the adventure and the experience that they had playing Red Dead Redemption. It's got that GTA dark, violent sense of humor. And yeah, you'll leave a trail of blood and limbs as you play through the game. The Wild West will lose half of its population of horses by the time that you're done. But this isn't a game for action fiends with no patience. You'll want to take your time playing this game, and it has a lot of things to take your time. Everything from multiplayer to poker and horseshoes, to a gigantic storyline and all the usual trophies and achievement points that you can unlock. Red Dead Redemption is not a terribly challenging game, but it's a game made to challenge your time. Do you have a lot of it? And how much of it can you spend in Red Dead Redemption? Because you can spend a lot. It's a solid game, and Rockstar knows their audience. If you've enjoyed the Grand Theft Auto series of games, or others like Borderlands or Fallout 3, games with giant missions, side quests, and lots of places to go and explore, Red Dead Redemption is a game for you.